Hi everyone, in this video we'll learn how to create files using PowerShell. What I want to do first is create a text file. I am going to start by calling the new item commandlet. The new item commandlet creates a new item and sets its value. In this case we're creating a text file. Next what I want to do is input the path that we want to write the file to. I want to write this to my downloads folder. The next parameter I want to input is the name of the file. Be sure to put the name of your file around quotations, and you also want to include the extension of the file type. In this case, I'm writing to a text file, so the extension is .txt, but if you want to write to a CSV, it would be .csv. Then what I want to do is specify the item type. We are writing to a file. Another item type that you can write to is you can create a directory or a folder. Finally, I am going to input a value that we are going to write to the text file. The value I am going to write is just going to say test file. And when we open our file, we'll see that we wrote this within the file. Let's save and run this. We can see here that we were able to successfully create it. Let's go to our downloads folder and take a look. And we can see that we successfully wrote our file. We have a text file here, and we can see that the value that we wrote test file is also within our text file. Let's go back. And I want to create a different file type. I am going to copy this and I am going to comment this out with a hashtag. And this time I want to write to a Python file. And I edited the above code and this time instead of having the extension set as .txt, it's set as .py since we're writing to a Python file. I also want to change the value. I want it to include a print function and we're going to print hello world within our Python file. Let's save and I am going to run this. Let's take a look at the file within Visual Studio. And we can see that we were able to successfully write our Python file. We have it within the downloads folder and we can even run this within Visual Studio. And it printed out hello world. We were able to successfully create a Python file. Let's comment this out. And what I want to do next is I want to write multiple files to text files. And we can see that we changed the order of the parameters a bit. I am specifying that I'm still writing to a file, but for the path, I am going to put the name of the files I'm going to write test1.txt and test2.txt, and we'll leave the values blank. Let's run this and then take a look at our downloads folder. And we can see that we wrote two text files. If we look at them, we can see that they are empty. Finally, what I'm going to do is I am going to overwrite a certain file. This, in this case, we'll write, overwrite the test.txt. And let's say that I want to try to overwrite it right now without really putting in additional parameter that I need to. Instead of test file, I want to put in test case. And we receive an error here that it already exists. In order for us to overwrite this, we're going to have to put another parameter that's called force, and this will overwrite our test.txt file. Let's save and run this again. And we can see that now it says test case. We were able to successfully overwrite the file. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. If you liked the video, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on Twitter, LinkedIn, GitHub, and Odyssey. Thanks again, everyone, and happy coding.